Welcome back to Grow Rich, Grow Happy. I am Mr. Foresight. And before we get started, I'm going to welcome everyone, all of my new subscribers. I'm going to thank you for uh, subscribing, first of all. But make sure you hit that uh, bell notification so that you don't miss a video. And um, if you like the video and you get something out of it, some education or you learn something, uh, give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And uh, to all of the uh, subscribers that has been here, I read all of the comments. So uh, you guys are awesome as well. You guys, uh, I see you holding some good crypto in your bags. Um, continue commenting. Continue sharing down below. And uh, we're going to kick this off right. This is the first video of the day. So you know we like to kick it off with some positivity. So um, repeat after me. Regardless what time it is, this is the first one here. This is the first video here, regardless what time of day that you're watching this. Repeat after me. To manifest wealth, I put into action the required wisdom. Folks, it's, that just, it's just that simple. And if you're clicking on this video and you're giving this video some time, I believe you're already putting in the required wisdom it takes to get the wealth that you want and that you deserve. Okay. What we're going to talk about today, uh, a lot of people in the, down in the uh, comments are talking about uh, Velodrome Finance. I, I feel like that's an opportunity. Um, when I cover uh, Aerodrome Finance for the first time and I reviewed the token, I spoke on uh, Velodrome uh, token as well. And what I said in that video is that they were first and that aerodrome finance pretty much borrowed uh, uh, everything that they were doing right velodrome and they they pretty much gave it a boost and made it a little bit better they tweaked it a little bit but we know how that's how it is you know that's how it is you um there's really nothing new but um the super successful they borrow from the successful and they tweak it a little bit and make it their own. And that's basically what we have here. Now, the difference is Aerodrome is taking off. And I'm here to talk about that today because I, I noticed some things. I noticed some things about uh, Velodrome and that's what this video is about. Uh, and I feel like it's an opportunity for people who might have missed aerodrome finance and by saying that this is not financial advice but by saying who might have missed it i'm not trying to uh, insinuate in no way that aerodrome is done climbing because it's just beginning but some of you might want to get in on a price uh like this for uh velodrome finance do your own research but we're going to explore it a little bit today and tell you um basically the difference between the two and let me tell you besides price besides the price there isn't a whole bunch of differences. They're on just different networks. With um, Velodrome, first off, Aerodrome is on the uh, base network. They're relatively new. They just started in uh, November 2023. And then you got Velodrome that operates on Optimism uh, network. Biggest, uh, biggest difference is basically the networks they operate on. These two tokens, people, are identical in every way, except a really big one, which is the reason why Aerodrome is flying and Velodrome isn't, and that's the backer. I really believe that one of the biggest reasons that um, Aerodrome Finance is flying higher than Velodrome, and Velodrome has been in the space first, is because of the backer. Uh, everybody knows Coinbase Ventures is big time. They are big time. And they're the ones who is backing Aerodrome. But me, I'm still looking for those deals. I'm still looking for the deals. I ain't saying a, like putting a lot into it, but I'm just looking for those deals. I seen the comments below. A lot of a lot of you guys are talking about uh Velodrome. So I figured, you know, let's talk about it. And for a disclosure, I did put a little bit of money in um Velodrome. And part of the reason is I know what these uh these Bitcoin having cycles can do to every token. I'm telling you, it can make everything erupt. It'll make you feel like you're a genius. So Velodrome, let's 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 see. Um, let's see what they're working with. Their total supply is just over a billion, about a billion and a half. Circulating supply, they're at uh 57.2% of their max supply is already circulating. 
difference this token you see something here this token uh came out listing date was uh november 2022 and um aerodromes listing date was november 2023 all-time high for this token is 37 cent and that was uh reached well wow, quite recently 27th of march all-time low is a penny so if you'd have gotten this around wow look at that that's pretty fast that it jumped from a penny to uh 20 to 37 cent within just a couple months um looking at this token i've looked at it and um i've checked it out i'm like i said there's really the biggest another difference between these two is uh the user interface Velodrome, they currently have, um, they're basically more established because they've been around longer than um, Aerodrome, who's just really getting started. But again, they got the backing of uh, venture capitalist uh, Coinbase, so it makes people feel like automatically, like this is going to the moon. To the moon, Coinbase wouldn't get behind somebody who didn't show big potential. But that's not to say these guys are just some Rudy Poops. I'm telling you. I don't believe this is a Rudy Poop token. Uh, just look at what uh, Optimism is doing. They're, uh, they're so tied, though. The difference is Optimism is in, um, and Velodrome is so tied. Optimism is so tied to Ethereum that if anything was to happen to Ethereum, it would pretty much affect this uh token right here it would affect uh velodrome but i don't foresee that happening especially with there being talk of an etf uh for ethereum coming here in um may possibly possibly but i know we're going to get it i honestly believe we're going to get a, a ethereum etf before the end of uh 2024 so i don't foresee this going anywhere i like the fact that um the all-time high is 37 cent and it was fairly recent which says that this might have uh right now we might be looking at uh it might have found some space to just consolidate yep it looks like it could possibly be consolidating right now so do i think it could go higher i honestly do again if you are someone who didn't get in um you, you're kicking yourself because you didn't buy into um, uh, Aerodrome a little bit earlier. Uh, this might be an opportunity. Uh, do your own research, but this seriously might be an opportunity. They are exactly the same, people. These tokens are pretty much exactly the same. The structure for Velodome, Velodrome and uh, Aerodrome, they're the same. In essence, they both, both platforms... They aim to uh, be decentralized DEXs, and that's basically what they are. They're both decentralized, and they both ha uh, have automatic market makers. They basically everything to the T. They share a similar vision. They both share, uh, but cater to different user bases. Where one is catering to people on the base network, which is new. Uh, Velodrome is catering to people on Optimism. And optimism, let's uh, look at optimism right quick and see where optimism is in price. I got an optimism early. Uh, I, I don't even hold enough of optimism to even talk about here. <laughs> but I do hold some. Uh, optimism right now is $3.60. And uh, they're operating off, off over there on this uh, network. And let's face it, they both, both of these tokens... Both of these tokens, this and Aerodrome, they want to make things cheaper and faster for uh, dealing with um, with uh, trading. So you can't beat it. They both layer twos uh, solutions, but the, the the biggest weakness, like I said, of um, Velodrome is although Optimism is a well established network, uh, their success is tied to it so closely. But it's no different when you really think about it when it comes to um, Aerodrome. Their success is really going to be tied to Base Network. But they oh, they both have the exact same thing. That's why I feel like it would kind of be 
irresponsible for me not to not to put a little bit in here. I'm not saying put a lot into it. Uh, just depending on the research. I'm still researching this one. But um, what I saw was enough for me to put a little bit in it, a little bit of money in it, because I, I know what's going to happen with this new cycle that's coming up as far as the halving on next month on uh, April 19th or uh, 20th. I really believe that all crypto is going to see a boost. Uh, um, another difference between these two, again, uh, Aerodrome, early stage development. They just having that uh coinbase ventures in their whole name and just people know what that could do to the what they know that coinbase is not no rudy poop they know that coinbase is not going to invest and back anything that's not going to be successful that's the biggest these guys had a head start it didn't even matter look how far the aerodrome them jumped over them so if I'm going to hold uh, something in my portfolio, of course, I got more uh, Aerodrome than I got Velodrome. But I don't see why you wouldn't add some of this as well. Not financial advice, but I don't see, if, especially if you're trying to get in early. And we're not early by no means, but for it to just be an all-time high of $0.37, cent, man, can you imagine? Can you imagine if some good news come out of this? and when people do catch on to this because i'm telling you what happens in crypto we all know that aerodrome is going to make more money possibly twenty dollars i i say at least 10 okay once that money get there and those of you out there make your money in this people are going to look for that next that next crypto to put some money in and I'm telling you, it could be as simple as people start looking for the next. And it's, that's just how it is in crypto. What's the next Shiba Inu? Uh, what's the next Bitcoin? It's going to be soon you're going to hear talk of what's the next Aerodrome Finance. And they're going to look back and they're going to see Velodrome. And then they're going to do a little research. They're going to do a little research. And they're going to say, wait a minute. They're basically the same. These tokens are the same. I need to get in that. And, and and check this out. You can get Velodrome on Coinbase. You can get it on Gate.io. You can get it on Uniswap. You can get it on Mexi. It's out there. It's readily accessible already. And it's on the Coinbase um app. So that says that alone says it's not a Rudy Poop. And you can buy it on Coinbase. You don't have to have the Coinbase wallet. You can buy it there. So I look at that and I look at the two and I'm just like, it's a no-brainer for me. It's a no-brainer. One is just has the name of Coinbase Ventures behind it. Um, There's some additional considerations, though, uh, because both of them, Velodrome and Aerodrome, as far as security risk go, both are relatively new still even though they've been out velodrome's been out since 2022 that's still new for crypto so they both have not had the time to go under uh basically undergo rigorous uh security tests or audits shall i say so they're both really even kill and i can only say aerodrome the biggest difference is coinbase coinbase that is everything so we could be seriously people like a month or so away from something coming out of their camp out of this camp right here because when you click on news when you click on news for these guys coinbase bet base network experience explosive growth and lock value and 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 this right here i guarantee this right here is talking about aerodrome look at this aerodrome leads basis surge and total value locked to near one billion Every the talk is about aerodrome right now, but I if I was a betting man and I'm not a betting guy, but if I was a betting man, I would say all roads are gonna come back to this token. People are going to say, "What's the next aerodrome?" And you're gonna get velodrome out of that. I really believe that. So not financial advice, but I did pick up some. I didn't pick up a lot, 
but I picked up some. And depending on what I find here soon, if you guys want me to continue covering this too, let me know. And I, I don't mind continuing to cover it because I'm going to dig a little bit deeper in it anyway. Because when I go down here and I look at their Twitter, I think I had already opened Twitter for them. Uh, when I look at their Twitter, look at that. They're well established. Velodrome. 237,000 followers. And I look at their post. Velodrome slipstream. They're making moves. They're making moves. I, like I say, the only difference is one has Coinbase Ventures and the other one doesn't. Let's go look at now. Look at that Twitter. 237,000 followers here for Velodrome. Then we go to Aerodrome. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Looking at 40,000. These guys just getting started. They just getting started. And they kind of got a cheat code in their pocket with um, the whole Coinbase thing. But if you really want to know, and you know what? I just noticed this. Look at this. Look at the look at the uh, logo here for Aerodrome. Now look at the logo here for Velodrome. Look at that. I don't know. I ain't saying it's some conspiracy or nothing. But uh, if I continue to see more similarities and start really, really, because I'm digging to this. I'm digging to this because I see what could be possibly be um, some potential. So not financial advice, guys, but um, why not? Why not um, pick up some of this? Because I'm telling you, take it from somebody who has been in a um, bull run. Although I came in in the in the middle of the in the um, toward the top toward the top of the market and it was about to go into a, a bear market and what from what i saw what i experienced right there man i'm telling you something like this a coin like this can seriously fly to a dollar in no time and why wouldn't they what's the difference one is on optimism um and uh one of them is on optimism network and the other one is on the base network so check it out if you want me to keep covering it let me know leave um and if you hold this token uh let me know in the comments anything else uh yeah yeah i think this is a good one i think this might be a good one but i'll continue uh researching and if you if this is something you guys want to see of course i'll i'll keep um talking about it man just as i will keep continue to talk about um aerodrome all right guys until next time keep researching all right peace